guys and welcome to our channel so today i'm alone because i'm doing my favorite of july i mean i decided not to do it because she said that she does not mm, some fairies of the moon but i do so i decided to make this video i spent july doing some stuff some not really important stuff so i'm going to talk to you about songs that i enjoyed listening this month which are tons of songs the new album of taylor is finally out for Clo, and i'm like obsessed with it taylor swift is such a good artist she mm, you know knows how to how to challenge herself how to create new music. I really love this new kind of music because she uses an alternative, an India folk, something like that, and which is my, my, my favorite genre of music. So I'm very proud of that. My favorite songs of this album are Exile, Epiphany, Hoax, Cardigan, and My Taste for Crochet. Oh my god, this song. This song just breaks my heart every time I listen to it. And I'm going to talk about my favorite movies. I watched two movies, I think. I don't remember, but probably I just watched two movies. Kissing Booth 2 and To All the Boys I've Loved Before 2, which is called Peace, I Love You. So I read in uh, 2018 all the three books of Tordi Boys that I've loved before. I enjoyed them. I thought I don't really like the main character who is played by Lana Condor. What's her name? Oh my god. Um, Laura Jean. Eh. Laura Jean. I don't. I don't like her because I, I think that she's a little bit silly, a little bit stupid. Yeah. I enjoy this movie, but as many people say, the first one is much emotional. I really like the way that they developed the relationship between Larry Jean and Peter Kaminsky. And the kissing with two is so much better than the first one. I, I didn't really like the relationship between Noah and what's the name of the girl? Al Al. Between Noah and Al because I think that no I don't really like boys like Noah. He's too impulsive and I don't really like boys like that. But the second movie I really enjoyed it because there's Marco and there's you know you went through the journey of our relationship problems and everything that there's a rock to her best friend um there's no how to talk her about um her girlfriend Rachel Lou who doesn't want her around anymore um who is like a tight of her and and just feels so lonely uh, she doesn't know what to do she feels like um, no right is betraying her and thought it's not the truth she's like really confused about her life really confused about um, what to do about the college and and she meets marco who, who like rested her he's so deep he's so deep inside he's so easy going yeah, I really, I really love them together. So I'm actually watching a series that is called Normal People. And I don't know really what it talks about because I'm like, I'm like watching the sixth episode. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I really like all the colors and it's really cinematographic and everything is so good. The characters, I think that they can talk really much about the um, what well, inside them and I feel like that I'm really like Marianne I haven't already understand really much the male character who is um what's his name ah I have this problem that I don't remember the name of the character uh Connor Connor oh my god Connor I I haven't already understood Cornell. Um, yeah, 
I, I will keep going. I will keep going. And I rewatched Love Alarm, which is a Korean drama. I really recommend it to everybody because I am like obsessed with the girl. I am obsessed with the guy. Of that, like two boys, and there's this girl that is. It's like a prune, you know. I would really like it. I rewatched it. So yeah. I recommend it to everybody and just watch it. The books that I uh, read read this month are Persistent. I don't know how to pronounce, pronounce it in English, but it's Persuasion. I think it's like Persuasion, but I don't understand. I kind of like it, but I think that this is not like my favorite writer. I think that my soul needs something that is more cruel. It's more um, raw, you know, something like that. And, you know, Jonathan just write about a world that is like idyllic, that people dream of. <laughs> I read a book that is called In Italian, Io Tego Romanzo. In Young Adult, a romance. It talks a lot about books, and I really like all the reference to books. Uh, another young adult romance is called Anne and the French Kiss. Which is a book that I actually read the last summer, also in July or in August, something like that, I don't remember. But I reread it because I really like the main character, Etienne Sinclair, who is like the perfect boy, boy of my dream. And I really like Paris. Yeah, I really recommended this book to everybody who just wants to, you know, dream of a perfect couple, a perfect love story. Another book that I read is Ah, Siddhartha, Siddhartha by Hermanas. I don't know if it, it, it is pronounced like that. This book was is like a um, spiritual journey through human soul, you know, and it talks about how we pretend to be someone that we can be that we desire too much we just we just have to you know to take life more gently with no ambition we have to look the life and the world just just how it appears to us yeah i really i really 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 like this this book i think that every time that i feel down i will just take this book and read everything that I put mine and you know just just like a spiritual guide the light of me let me up every time that I fit down so yeah uh, it's my favorite moment what I did this month and what I learned actually this month just I felt really down this month I had mm, some mental breakdown yeah I had some uh, mental issues and also I felt bad of my body um, uh, I it, it's like you know, it's normal, I think, it's normal, I think. Every time in summer I feel like that, I think it's normal because of the, of, um, because of the weather, um, because it's like 40 degree. Um, you know, guys, I don't really have many friends, so I don't have many friends to hang out with. And I don't like to go outside and to, you know, doing some stuff that uh, girls like me um, usually do like you know doing shopping uh, buying new things new clothes new products for makeup for skincare I don't really like that I just buy books I went to one of my friends birthday one of my classmates birthday and I actually enjoy this this like party and I went to Palermo with my sister um, we lived there for like uh, five, five days 
all yeah five days there and I and I eaten so so many foods oh, that I, I, I can explore and the first days I like to do some workouts guys I just started my workout and today I um, starting doing just a little bit of cardio with the a dance workout but I stopped because I am too lazy to just go own <laughs> yeah actually I have many problems in my head um, I am afraid to make new, new decisions and I have just this mode to to finish all my things and to make the, like one of the most important decision of my life. Um, I guess, as the doctor says, we must take a life with more lightness. I want to see how it goes. I am curious about that. Actually, I'm interested. <laughs> Never my story, my own story, okay. I'm just work crazy right now. I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoy this. My little talk with you. And look at my new t shirt. I bought this this one. Okay. Um yeah. If you want to follow me and my sister on Instagram, I put all the nicknames here in the info box. And yeah, see you on the next time. Bye! But I will keep going. I will keep going.